It certainly is my first time at the Irish Theatre Awards, and I'm very thrilled, excited to be part of an awards which is goes across Ireland and uh, uh, extends itself right uh, around the whole realm of theatre, uh, wh whether it be in the smallest theatre in the smallest town or in the capital cities. And <clears throat> I think it's a very wonderful thing. It was uh, an amazing experience, scary and uh, uh, enlightening and inspiring, but uh, yeah, it's very strange being on stage by yourself. Down on lane he goes, best place to get him, quiet, solitary, I'll make a final burst, power forward. It's such a weird thing being nominated for awards, it's just nice to have an evening and be with Irish theatre folk and uh, hopefully have a fun time. I was shocked to be nominated, to be honest, so I'm just delighted with the nomination. I am not expecting a win at all. And Emily McGall took her bra off in the living room in front of this, like, rake of stuff. <laughs> you know, you just think, God, it was a small play in the project that I did, two-week run, so um, I really didn't think that it would, it would get noticed, even though it was, it was a, a wonderful show to be a part of. Well, we did a show called Lippy. Um, uh, it, it premiered at the Fringe last year. Uh, won an award at the Fringe, in fact, a couple of awards there. And the story of Lippy of these based on the real events of four women in League Slip in the year 2000 uh, entering a starvation pact. It's such a strange and alarming story, but I think that's probably a key to some of the interest and impact in it. But also, I hope original work is real. I think theatre can get bogged down in the past. And I think, you know, it should be uh, something looking to the future. And I think original work gets people excited when it, when it works.